People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. Brendan Lenane, I sometimes have palpitations when I take my brand of K2 MK7, not MK4. Very pronounced with higher doses or without food. Only a few references to this online. I wonder what your thoughts were. There's nowhere in the windmills of my mind on that being associated with K2. I have to tell you though, Brendan, anytime and every time I hear of palpitations, I get nervous of people having paroxysmal atrial fib. In other words, atrial fibrillation that happens and then stops, happens and then stops. We used to think that other things were causing strokes. In fact, the most common cause of stroke was, somebody remind me of the term that they used for that, but basically it was a term meaning we didn't know what caused it. Well, at the end of the day, they began to find that in those people, more and more folks had atrial fib that just was not being recognized. So be careful. Atrial fibrillation is by far the most common cardiac dysrhythmia. It's like insulin resistance and diabetes. The vast majority of it is unrecognized. And like insulin resistance and diabetes, it is dangerous. It multiplies your risk for stroke specifically, not heart attack, but stroke specifically five to eight times. So be very concerned if you have palpitations at any point, especially if you've had them over and over again, even if it's just associated with something like K2. And see about getting a diet, clearly getting atrial fib ruled out. Paroxysmal atrial fib means that you have it and then it goes away.